for UNB. She is the business. She is the okay. face of the business because it's all about individuals. It's not about the business. Mm -hmm. Without the individual being clear, the business can't succeed. That's so right. I think it's very important that uh, the viewers out there realize that um, when you're going out there, it's not about making money. It's, all, it's more about you, your clarity in terms of who you are as a person. I mean, have you thought about your health? Have you thought about your family? Have you thought about your spirit? Have you thought about your community? If those sort of things aren't clear, you're not clear about them mm -hmm. or haven't thought about them, they could be issues which might be holding back your business. Mm -hmm. So the business side, which is a bit the property side and the business side, which is a lot of what we do, mm -hmm. is completely insignificant, unimportant if mm -hmm. you aren't clear about who you are, what your identity is and where you're going. Mm -hmm. Because if, if some of those things, like your health or your relationship, has an issue, how you run your business will always be tarnished or be impacted in mm -hmm. such a way that uh, it will be difficult to make it work. Mm -hmm. So we work with individuals mm -hmm. to, who are working in a 9-to-5 position to mm -hmm. people who, who run 500 million pound companies. Yeah. But you can imagine if you're an executive and you've got a relationship issue, you've got to make a multi-million pound decision about running your business and you're mm. not quite there mentally. Because you don't have a clear impact. mind to That's right. make it the correct. Exactly. So I think uh, the Caroline's job is probably the most important thing for us and this, uh, this is what sets us, us aside mm -hmm. from the larger global consultancies mm -hmm. for which you know, I've worked for in the, in the past. Mm -hmm. And I suppose our unique specialist is that we literally get to know our people we work with and actually make sure that psychologically they are clear about who they are and where they're going mm -hmm. before we even endeavor to start looking at their business. If we find there's an mm -hmm. issue there, we do tell them sometimes quite bluntly. Mm -hmm. And nine times out of ten, nobody, most people don't really like to be told the truth about who they are. And sometimes, well, most of the time we do tell them. Mm -hmm. We tell them in a nice way, so that, that's the nice thing about us. Excellent. And we help them <laughs> through yeah. their crisis. So you, you really, really drill down in a person and find out what their passions are, what really drives them. It's not simply like, oh, I just want to start a business to make money. What do you want to do with that money? Yeah. What, 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 how much do you want exactly? So you make them really come down to exactly the pounds and pennies of what they want to achieve and setting the goals and what exactly they're going to do with that money. The end result is it going to bring them freedom happiness in their life, more successful marriage. That's right. I, th yeah. I think ultimately in the commercially driven world that we mm -hmm. live in, um, a lot of people get locked into the system of the way the government works, the way mm -hmm. banks work, the way society works, mm -hmm. the way what they listen to TV, what they listen to newspapers, and they are very externally driven. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if you can't distinguish that, what's going on around you and who you mm. are, the two, th two things actually could be quite contradictory for you. Because if mm. you're, let's say, a good Muslim or a good Sikh mm. or a good Christian or all the other religions in the world, mm. and the, the, these other things, they start impacting you, get locked in the system. It's very mm. good to be uh, religious in any way when you get locked into the system. Because mm -hmm. the system will literally swallow you just up. Just become a number and you're just following everyone else. That's, and that's right. Yeah. So our objective is really to make a change and help mm. help people literally mm. to seek clarity in their lives. Mm. Whether they choose to seek clarity based upon our help through Caroline mm. and generally through our consultants because we all generally the U bit doesn't mm. sort of stop there. Mm -hmm the UB still carries on to the business side because mm -hmm. we don't sort of say, okay, now you're in business, we don't mm -hmm. talk to you about who you are anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it still carries on. It's, an, it's a living thing. It's f yeah. you're, you're still a living thing. You're not, yeah. you're not the business, which is a system. Yeah. You still have to work within the system and make the system work for you. That's right. And what you say and what you do reflects everything that you're That's doing right. in the business. You know, it's so true what you're saying, Lucky, because, y you know, when you go out there in the world, you only see two things. You see either you are marketing something or something's been marketed to you. you. Just walk down the street and you see all these billboards everywhere and you could just easily sort of like be driven to that, oh, I want to get that car, I want to get that, I want to get that suit, whatever. And then all of a sudden you're following the system. The system is driving you. You're not driving the system. The system is the, 
uh, is the driver. I'd, I'd like to so add... So you've got to take that, that driving seat, basically, and I'd like to take add control. to that that um, we actually help people become inspired. Mm -hmm. uh, we inspire them to find their true purpose yeah. and what they're really about, to actually get to their core. Mm -hmm. Because once you're in your... For coming from inspiration or in spirit, mm -hmm. then you can really create very powerful things mm -hmm. and create miracles mm -hmm. and you will attract everything that you require. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the things that um, before I joined UMB, I was working uh, on my own uh, within my own consultancy and um, I lost a lot of um, my normal clients because uh, of the market, at what had changed in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And I said, right then, you know, I need to become part of a joint venture because mm -hmm. I need to get into bigger business. Mm -hmm. And I'd been focused on that because um, it was essential for me to continue my work. Mm -hmm. And just because people couldn't afford to see me, it was important mm -hmm. to come from that place of helping and giving. Right. And um, it only took about uh, a month before um, I met Lucky and mm. was in within and the consultancy. Lucky, <laughs> <laughs> and I was within the business yeah. within, you know, sort of only two meetings, um, which was just uh, quite incredible for me. Mm -hmm. And it was perfect because I came from a place of where it was right mm. and I knew what I wanted from, from a business perspective and I knew what I could give it. Mm. And so there was two, it was, it was, we were totally in balance. Mm. We knew that I knew what I wanted to give a business and they knew what they were looking for and the marriage was mm. just made. And it was perfect. Yeah, yeah and very interesting. And, and now you have, what, 60, 70 associates, partners in, in your organization now? That's right. Ba yeah. Basically, what we've done is uh, we've evolved associateship of different skill sets, mm -hmm. which uh, means that we could tap into any of our associates at any given time. Mm -hmm. So we deal with seven different law firms, mm -hmm. which from the top city, city end to sort of mid-end firms, Mm -hmm. specializing in different areas or different of fields yeah. and same goes for accountancy mm -hmm. we've got let's say tax specialists in different fields mm -hmm. to financial systems that you can put in mm -hmm. to actually understand your information better because mm -hmm. if you don't you know if you don't have that that's also an issue mm -hmm. so we've got uh, six core associates that work in the business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but just to give you a bit more background about, about that Caroline works on the U side mm -hmm. Then we've got um, myself, I look after property, mm -hmm. so anything to do with property. So if I suppose if a rabbit ever had a mortgage, mm -hmm. then we had something to do with it. So that's just a way of saying that there's not much that we don't do with property. Mm -hmm. So we deal with land, com commercial finance, you know, residential property, mm -hmm. um, deal with repos repossessions, we deal with um, bankruptcy type issues. Mm -hmm. We've got a whole range of things that we deal with property. So there's no real limits. From It could also be international property. Mm -hmm. So we've got experience of raising literally tens of millions of pounds for international development projects abroad, mm -hmm. uh, including Pakistan, actually. Mm -hmm. um, then the business consultancy side is a chap called uh, Salim Nawaz. Mm -hmm. Hello, Salim. I said to you I'd say hello to you <laughs> on, the, on the show later, so I hope you're well. Uh, he basically is... Um, 20 years experience traveling internationally as a, as a businessman mm. and uh, experience about seven, eight different sectors. I've heard, I've heard his name. Uh, Sal Salim has is, is been involved in a lot of global finance. He's worked with a lot of these financial institutes, especially in the Middle East as well, in the Gulf area. That's so right. he's got access to a lot of big, That's right. big That's um, right. He's investors. So he's, he's almost... Um, so he's a known name by himself. He's a, he's a brand in himself. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So he's... Um, one of the core business consultants mm -hmm. and he deals with and in fact he's, we're all very hands-on and we all mm -hmm. work very well together in fact we're like a, a little team. little little family Small team yeah that's little, right little family together everyone achieves more yes that's right that's what it's all and, about and i think there's a genuine um uh love and care uh, which love is not usually a word you use in a consultancy but i would say there's a genuine love between the mm -hmm. two the people that are there because we're not it's not just about the money I think genuinely, even if money was never there, we would actually, I think I, I and, and I, I speak for my colleagues as well, that we love working with each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would second that. Mm -hmm. it, is, um, it is a dream team. We have something that's just very, very unique. Mm -hmm. It's very special and we, we treat each other as a gift. Right. And we, we, we have the utmost respect for each other's skills. Mm 